Mark, I can only start with the equaliser. Obviously, a huge disappointment. You were extremely close to the three points. Yeah, I think we're about 20, 20 25 seconds away from, from victory. Uh, so, yeah, of course, it's disappointing. Of course, there's a, uh, uh, a feeling of deflation uh, at this moment in time. Uh, but that can't last. Can't last uh, because of uh, the rest of the game and how we approached the game and how we executed certain things in the game as well. I thought there were lots and lots of positives. Yes, it didn't go our way uh, this week, and we conceded right towards the end. Uh, but on, on Monday at Derby, you know, we we got a point. So yes, we're going to be deflated a little bit, but we're going to pick ourselves up and we're going to be ready for Tuesday. It's lots of positives, obviously, and. and the big one is that you, you, you turned around the deficit um, again. Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't the start we wanted, uh, and we, we we worked our way back into the game. Uh, it's tough when you're going up against a team who've got, got a goal away from home and they're defending really really well. They're on a good run of form at Cheltenham, so they were hard to break down. Uh, but we kept going. We scored at a good time just before half time, and I thought we were really really positive in the second half. I thought we took the game. We created opportunities uh, to score. We got the lead, and we just couldn't quite get it over the line. It looked like being the tail of two penalties. Um, Moisa puts his in the top corner. Mm -hmm. Alfie May practically put his in the top corner, but Jamie Cameron managed to pull off a great save. Yeah, it's a fantastic save from Jamie. Uh, you know, really, really pleased he did that. Uh, and like I said, we, we, we kept going, we kept pushing for the goal. Uh, they were always going to come back into the game a little bit and put us under pressure. Uh, whereas times this season we've, 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 we've stood strong, we just couldn't quite get it over the line. And uh, there's frustrations with that, of course there is, uh, but again, they, they can't last for long, they won't last for long, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be ready for Tuesday. Brought a couple of players back in, Jack Tuck after injury, Connor Grant was on the bench. Um, a couple of players who've, who've kind of grown into the season, I suppose. Um, a little while back, maybe they wouldn't have been brought back after a spell out, but, but you would have had no qualms bringing them in. Yeah, man, we, we can make changes to, to, the, to the team. We've got a, a squad who are ready to go and compete. Uh, and that's what we do. We look at the, 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 the squad and how we can approach each, each and every game uh, to try and get the three points. And that's what we do. And players come in and, you know, they're fighting for the shirt, they're fighting to stay in the team and they're fighting for the cause. And you see that from all the players in the squad. The fighting to achieve our goal. And that's another fighting display today. Yes, it didn't go our, our way right at the end there. All right, but we've got to take positives from that. We're still unbeaten now. Um, we've, we've got a good run of games going and um, we've got another home game here on Tuesday where we're going to bring that level of performance again. I was going to say seven unbeaten now. So, I mean, that's, uh, if you can continue that run from now to the end of the season or you know, pick up a few more points, that will be enough. Yeah, and that's what we do. Uh, if, we, if we can't win games, we don't lose games. Feels like a loss today, of course. I keep saying it, but we'll pick ourselves up quickly. And I've said we can't exist in that moment for too long. There will be a, a deflation within the group and the players and the staff and the staff as well. But I made it clear in there to everybody and everybody knows that we can't, we can't exist in that moment for too long. It'll be there for a little bit this evening maybe, but then we've got to come around quickly, uh, focus on the positives and then get ready for Tuesday. How was Jamie at half time? Cause it looked like he felt like quite responsible for that first goal and you know, immediately the, the, the defenders went straight around him uh, after, after they'd scored. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, no problem. Uh, mistakes happen in games, uh, and you know he got on with it, and he and he, he showed composure, he showed courage, uh, he made a fantastic save. Yeah, he grew back into the game, no problem at all. Um, Paul just mentioned there the the unbeaten run. It's it feels like you're playing catch up, doesn't it? After the start that the, the team made, you, you're showing decent form. It's practically mid table form at this point. You're just making up for that slow start. Yeah, and that's all we can do. We uh, we, we we want to stay positive. We want to we want to win games of football. Uh, we, we approach every game where we can win it. I say that all the time. Uh, and, you know, the confidence is high within the group. Uh, and like I say, we can't let today's disappointment for the last period of, of, the, of the game and the equaliser manifest itself into something bigger than it is. Yeah, everybody's disappointed. And, of course, it's a big, big moment. All right, but we had big, big moments against Derby when we got the equaliser. So it swings around. I said all the time that it's going to go to the wire. There's going to be lots of ups and downs. And that's a, that's a little bit of a dip for us today, a little bit of a down moment for us. But we'll pick ourselves up and we've shown we've got courage and the strength of character within the team and the squad and the staff to do that. I suppose it shows that what a dramatic game it was that we've sort of overlooked the fact that Mo Issa got a couple of goals as well. Yeah, pleased for him. And he showed great composure in both of his goals, particularly uh, with the penalty as well. 
so, listen, lots and lots of positives from today. Lots of positives. I know that they'll be man manifesting in a lot of people's minds uh, the negativity and, you know, the disappointment that will be in their supporters as well. And they were fantastic today for the team. Uh, and we just couldn't quite get it over the line. So, these things happen in football. It'll happen all around the world in football. Uh, and we've got to deal with it in a, in a really positive and, and confident way and, 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 and get, back on, get back on the horse on Tuesday. I suppose it's another thing of the change in mindset, isn't it, that you're disappointed to come away with a point? Yeah, of course we are. When you get that close, you, 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 of course you're disappointed. And we've shown in recent weeks that we can defend and, and we can hold leads and stuff like that. But sometimes you've got to give credit to the opposition. And they, and they kept pushing and, and, and they got the goal. Is it slightly deflating that there was a long period after the penalty missed that Cheltenham struggled to create stuff, but then still found something at the end to break with the defence? Uh, yeah, there's, the, the, listen, there's always disappointment when you concede goals. There's disappointments, there's things you can look at to, to, to how, how we could have prevented it and things like that, and, you, and you'll do that. And Yeah, the, the, of course there's disappointment, but you know, we're going to pick ourselves up quickly and we're not going to stay in that moment.